So the starters for the Shockers, number five, senior guard Ashley Reed, number 12, sophomore guard Carla Bremont, number 13, redshirt senior forward Raven Prince, number 23, sophomore guard Seraphine Baston, and number 34, sophomore forward Shia Smith. Temple wins the tip off and we are underway. Good backdoor cut by Mia Davis, easy find from Alexa Williamson. And Temple grabs the first two points of tonight's contest. And Wichita State already a team that does not score a ton of points. Then you take away their leading scorer, Mariah McCulley, who's the only scorer in double figures. She averaged 13.1 per game. Nobody on the active roster now averages more than eight. So Wichita State wants to keep this game close. They want to keep it low scoring. Temple trying to do the opposite. Firing away from Marissa Mackins. No good on a three. And here come the Shockers with some pace. This is a three from the wing. It's good from Ashley Reed. And so the big question tonight, obviously, for Wichita State is who is going to step up on the scoring front without McCulley in action? Reed the early candidate with the uh, first three points of tonight's game. She only averages 3.7 per game, transfer out of New Mexico Junior College. Rebound underneath for Shia Smith and Wichita State. Continuing to push tempo. This is blocked out of bounds by Marissa Mackins and will stay with the Shockers. That's Seraphine Baston, the sophomore out of Belgium with the take. Williamson grabs the steal and wins it back for Temple. Owls will come up the floor trying to retake the lead. Mackins catch and shoot. She's off on her first two. This one, though, an offensive rebound by Davis. Put back no good. And Smith grabs the rebound for Wichita State. Temple 13 and 8 this season. They are 5 and 3 in the American Athletic Conference. Wichita State 12 and 10. Four and five in American play. Temple, great transition. Look, Mackins finds Jones for the lay-in, and Temple goes back up by one at four to three. Good passing looks on each of Temple's first two baskets. Nice cut away from the ball, nice easy find. Some trouble in the paint for Raven Prince. Turns it over. Temple forces another Wichita State turnover. That's two. Here's a look, and nobody picked up Mia Davis. Missed assignment underneath for Wichita State, and Davis not a player you can afford to leave alone. Sometimes not even can you afford to leave one person on her. Davis having a brilliant junior season. She's averaging just a shade under 20 points per game, 19.5 points per game, and a conference best 10.9 rebounds. So averaging a double-double. Baston on the dribble and gets the bank to go. Wichita State has shown some three-quarter court press, and here's a collision. And it will be the first foul of the night against Wichita State. This goes against Raven Prince, who collides with Mia Davis. Mackins on the dribble. She was looking for the foul call. Instead, it will go to Alexa Williamson, who is fouled on the putback, and we'll get our first free throws of the night on either side. And it's two quick fouls on Raven Prince. And that'll bring in Asia Henderson as Prince picks up two quick fouls. So the redshirt senior in some trouble. She averages 5.4 points per game, but last time out, Another game in which Mariah McCulley did not play. Prince was tied for the team lead with 11 points. So the fact that she's got to go sit early does not help Wichita State's offensive prospects in this one. Williamson, a 57% free throw shooter, hits them both. And Temple stretches their lead to 8-5. 
Now well, the lean parts and a good drive from Seraphine Baston. Press hasn't yet been effective for Wichita State. They've yet to turn Temple over. Here's a look underneath. Williamson lost it on her way up. Now they'll say it was blocked out and it will stay with Temple. Mackins connects on her first of the night. Third try for Marissa Mackin. She finally hits. She is the conference leader in three-pointers made and attempted as she's now 64 out of 175 this season. 175 three-pointers for Marissa Mackins. It wasn't that long ago that would have been a season number for a team. Shia Smith off, but Mackins takes a step on the other end and will turn it back to the Shockers. Three-pointer knocked down by Shia Smith. That's just her 10th of the season. Wichita State down one. Here's Temple. Williamson just a bit too strong. Offensive rebound to Neyong. Out to Ashley Jones off the mark from three. Neyong this time puts it back up herself. And it's still going to stay with Temple. So the long possession for the Owls continues. And that will bring us to our first break of the night. Break of the night. Owls struggling from three. Offensive rebounds for the Owls. Only four total rebounds for Wichita State. That's part of why the Owls have the inbound here. As Lena Neon had two offensive rebounds on this possession alone. That's been critical for Wichita State this year. How about this? Wichita State 10 and 1 when they out rebound their opponent, 2 and 8 when their opponent out rebounds them. Right now, things going Temple's way on that front, and they nearly had another look at an offensive rebound, but Davis can't run it down in the corner. So, all of those extra shots have made up for a pretty poor shooting start for Temple. The Owls and Shockers have each made four field goals, but Wichita State's four of seven. The Owls have 14 shots. And we'll get a travel called here on Asia Henderson before the kickout. So it's back to Temple off of the fourth Wichita State turnover of the evening. to Mackin, shot fake, gets inside for two and knocks it down. Just a great job by Marissa Mackins. Gets her defender to leave her feet, goes inside and hits a rare two-point field goal for Temple's three-point sharpshooter. That's five for Mackins and a three-point lead for Temple. Smith gets herself tied up underneath the basket, and Temple able to grab the rebound. Jones looking inside to Davis. Pass may have been deflected. It's picked up by Reed. And the other way, Baston knocks it down, and she's got six here in the first quarter. Had a nice game against Temple in the first meeting between these two teams. Baston had 12 and six. And that was a 72-70 win for Wichita State. That had snapped what was a five-game Temple win streak. Jones thought about the three, instead drives inside. Some contact, but Jones able to finish for two. and will look over to the Wichita State bench and third-year head coach Keitha Adams. Long two, and that's off from Smith. 
She had knocked down an earlier three, but probably not a shot that Wichita State wants Smith taking. Here's Mackins with a deep three, no good. And a battle for the rebound. Wichita State will come away with it. Outside, three from the wing short, and Williamson comes crashing in to grab it down. Inside to Davis, who again finds herself with some space, and this time Henderson comes over to foul. Davis has been creating some problems early in this quarter. Raven Prince, who started down low for Wichita State, picked up two quick fouls and had to come out of the game. Davis has four this quarter. We'll try to add to it from the line where she is a 77% free throw shooter. First one, no good. Davis makes the second. And Temple stretches the lead to 16-12. DJ McCarty into the game, off on the runner, and Asana Alexander grabs the rebound for Temple. Out to Jones, open for three, and knocks it down. We've got a foul against Temple. The shot is good. The foul is on Mia Davis after the shot, fighting for the rebound. Uh, Temple has stretched the lead to its largest point tonight, 19-12, a minute 45 to go in the first quarter. That foul on Davis is the first on Temple tonight. McCarty off the screen, gives it up to Smith. Kick out to McCarty, good from three. DJ McCarty, another player like Shia Smith, who has not made a ton of threes this year. That's just eight on the season. Uh, Wichita State, that's helping them keep it within reach. They've not been bad from beyond the arc tonight. Here's a look inside to Shannon Atkinson, who gets tied up on the floor. This foul is against Trojada Colbert. Nope, check that, that is 34. Shia Smith. That's her first in Wichita State's fourth of the quarter. So Smith will come off and Maya Brewer, a senior from Kansas City, Missouri, will check in. Great drive by Davis and the finish. Davis has seven and Temple's lead is six. Wichita State has got to find an answer for Mia Davis. She went off for 23 in the first meeting between these two teams and she's currently ahead of that pace with this brilliant first quarter. Shot clock down to six. Baston in some trouble. He's got to get it off at the buzzer, and it is off the mark. Rebound grab by Jones. Shot clock turned off, and Mackins will pull it back out to midcourt and look over to Temple head coach Tanya Cardoza. Mackins. Drives in at the buzzer, gets it to go. Mackins caps off a 23-point, 23-point first quarter action, and it's Temple on top of Wichita State, 23-15 at the break. Marissa Mackins with the last two points just before the buzzer. No balanced scoring effort from Temple at the end of the first quarter. Seven from Mackins, seven from Davis, seven from Jones. So all of Temple's stars showing up. Unfortunately for Wichita State, they are without their leading scorer, Mariah McCulley. In her absence, Seraphine Baston with six. 
And then three each from Shia Smith, Ashley Reed, and DJ McCarty. Here is McCarty on the inbound for Wichita State. Flip to Anderson out of the corner, and it'll be a travel. Probably the better of the two options for Henderson is the other was a likely charge call coming. Temple closed the first quarter absolutely on fire. They made five of their last six attempts from the field. Now to Mackins, the extra pass to Neong. Too strong on the baseline three, but another offensive rebound. The Owls have just generated more possessions than the Shockers, even though Davis negates the second chance by stepping out of bounds. Temple with a whopping plus eight rebounding margin at this moment. And again, we gave you the stats for Wichita State when they are out rebounded, not good for the Shockers. Here's a nice drive and lay in by Maya Brewer. Temple breaks the Wichita State press. Asana Alexander at the point, drives in and is fouled on her way up. This foul is against Brewer. So here is Asana Alexander, 62% free throw shooter. And she is off the mark on her first. Second rattles around and drops. Good for Temple to get Alexander back on the floor. She's uh, been limited in Temple's last two games, averaging just over 10 minutes per and has not scored in the last few. The freshman having a terrific season. In fact, she leads the conference in assists and assists to turnover ratio. There's a big three-point basket from Maya Brewer. And Wichita State, not a great three-point shooting team, has looked good so far in this one. Here's the steal and the lay-in for the Shockers. D.J. McCarty with the layup, and it's a quick 5-0 run for Wichita State. And just like that, they've got it back to a two-point game. Here's a travel called against Neyang. And all of a sudden, Wichita State with a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. That quarter break came at the right time for Wichita State. Temple was firing on all cylinders going into it. And it's just been one point for Temple in the first two minutes here in the second quarter. Good job by Williamson in the post. Matched up against Smith, able to poke that pass away. Here comes Jones up the floor. Mackin swings it around to Alexander. And this time, Davis was well guarded by McCarty. Wichita State trying to run. Open three on the wing, it's good. And Wichita State has the lead. Timeout, Temple. Mighty to figure. Mighty to figure out which State hasn't missed in the second quarter. They have they are four of four from the field, two of them three-pointers from Maya Brewer, and Wichita State leads by one, 25-24. Is a look into the paint for Alexa Williamson. Exactly what Tanya Cardoza dialed up coming out of the timeout. And Temple retakes the lead 26-25. Been a couple of those there that Temple has been able to execute some missed defensive assignments in the paint. Speaking of, there's a good cut by Carla Brimaud, the sophomore out of Angers, France. Three-point attempt from Alexander, no good, and then Williamson 
Gets caught reaching in on Brima. Well, it was a two-pointer right at the wire in the last time these two teams met out in Wichita. And we're shaping up for another good one here in the rematch in Philadelphia. So just the second all-time trip for Wichita State here to McGonagall Hall. They have not won in this building. Wichita State joining the American Athletic Conference for basketball in 2018. Alexander, skip pass to Jones, he's got to go up and get that one. Jones to Williamson off the pick and roll. Nice touch by Williamson on the turnaround jumper. And Temple goes back up 28-27. Travel called on Brima. And Mackins. A little hop with that right foot. Called for the travel, so Temple gives it right back. Brewer has been the hot hand this quarter, and she knocks down another one. Maya Brewer into double figures here in the first half. And Temple throws it away. That's a rare turnover from Asana Alexander. Remember we mentioned the freshman is leading the conference in assist to turnover ratio. Brewer over to Baston who's open for three, no good. A rebound for Jones. It's as good a look as Wichita State's going to see. And on the other end, Jones just strong on the layup. Davis stripped on her way up. Wichita State racing down the floor with Baston. Beat her own team up the floor. Now a three-point attempt from Brewer. A rare miss this quarter for her off the front iron. Wichita State is a team, only a 29% three-point shooting team. It's not bad, but not great. Uh, they have far exceeded that to this point in the game. Davis made the great move and then couldn't finish the layup. Temple's missed a few easy ones. Now a kick out, wide open three, and this one is good. How about Maya Brewer, who's now three points off of her season high. We still have four minutes to go in the first half. No look by Jones. Easy finish from Alexa Williamson. Brewer is matched up against Davis. Here's Baston looking inside. And good defense by Williamson forces the Wichita State turnover. Monty Mayo out onto the floor for Temple, and we'll see number 31, Vendela Danielson, the junior from Sweden by way of Broward College, checking in for the first time tonight for Wichita State. Brima calling for reaching in on Davis. That is the first on Brima and the second on Wichita State. So not a costly foul there. Temple will have the inbound underneath their basket. Williamson on the drive. That right hand hook doesn't drop. And Shia Smith grabs the rebound. 
Williamson leaves her feet. McCarty goes around her, and kicks out, misses, and Mackins grabs the rebound. That's, you get Williamson that high in the air, that's three free throws if you want him. Just go up into her and take the shot. Meanwhile, on the other end, it's going to be a charge called against Marissa Mackins. That is her first and Temple's second. Lena Neon back in as Mackins comes off. And on the Wichita State side, Asia Henderson is back into the game. Brima, no good on the long two. Williamson rebound. Alexander lost it, but gets it back and brings it up the floor. And Williamson handle the entrance. State is better job. Early on Temple in the paint. Davis in the second quarter after seven in the first. Williamson, though, has stepped up. She's now got eight. Out in a three. Put no, back for. Point shooting has gone to Wichita State. Jones beats the press, gets it off to Mayo. Jones coming around, finds Davis, and Davis took a step on her way up. Turnover starting to mount here against Temple. That's now 11. Temple minus three in turnover margin at the moment in Wichita State. A four-point lead in the ball with under two to play in this half. Credit to Wichita State for digging themselves out of an eight-point deficit here on the road. And now they get a six-point lead as Seraphine Baston connects. Press pays off this time. Henderson comes up to poke it away. Baston gets it out to Danielson. Three-pointer no good. Long rebound, Wichita State. Boy, they cannot hit a three right now, and they're getting looks to try to bury Temple before the half. After those early Brewer threes, in fact, nobody else has a three-pointer. Brewer has made three. The rest of the team combined 0 for 5. Alexander misses from three. And we're going to have a foul called against Wichita State, which will keep it with Temple. This is a foul on the ground. That's on Baston, her first. Wichita State's third, so no trouble there. Destiny Samuel has checked in for Temple. Samuel missed all last season due to injury, and this is her first appearance as a Temple Owl, redshirt freshman out of Baldwin, New York. Travel called against Jones. They have been tight on the travels tonight. So all of a sudden, Wichita State with a six-point lead in the final minute of the half. Jones nearly had the steal, just couldn't keep it in bounds. Wichita State catches a break. A bit of a careless pass. Smith. Hands off to Reed. Shot clock down to 10. Wichita State looks a little bit out of sorts on this possession. Reed cuts back inside. Kicks it out. And a three-pointer from the corner at the shot clock buzzer for D.J. McCarty. Wichita State really makes something out of nothing on that possession. Credit to the Shockers, some good improv. Shot clock turned off. Temple trying to get something before the break. Here's Jones throwing it up and gets a foul called with 5.3 seconds left. 
Wichita State with a couple of big runs this quarter. They had a 10-1 run to start the quarter, and they're currently in the midst of a 7-0 run that has staked Wichita State out to a nine-point lead. Jones, Temple's best free throw shooter, trying to cut into it from the line. Jones makes the first. Going to be 5.3 seconds left. Plenty of time for Wichita State to get it up the floor as Jones hits it both to get the Temple deficit down to seven. Chance for Wichita State at the buzzer off a vicious screen. There's an open runner in the lane for McCarty. No good. McCarty, no good. Starting five, Jones, Neon, Mackins, Williamson, and Davis. Starting five for Wichita State as well. Reed, Primaw, Prince, Baston, and Smith. Skip pass out to Jones. Deep three and a good start to the half for Temple. Ashley Jones knocks down her second three of the game. And Temple comes out of the game. Gets their deficit to Baston side with plenty of time to set up that little jump shot. Didn't go for Smith and a rebound. Travel will turn it back. The Wichita State gets Raven Prince back into the game. She picked up two very quick fouls. Redshirt senior averages 5.4 per game. Did not score in the first half. Wonder how long Maya Brewer will stay on the bench after that brilliant first half performance. She had 13. Davis comes up short, down the other way. Baston kicks out to Reed for three, it's good. Ashley Reed with her second three of the game. That accounts for all six of her points. And credit to Wichita State on the road without their leading scorer, down eight early. They have fought back valiantly against the Owls. Shot clock down to eight. Temple a bit out of sorts. Mackins turns it over. Nobody near Baston as she lays it in with the left hand for two. This is Wichita State's largest lead of the night at nine points. Wichita State, part of what they did, we've talked a lot about their offense in that second quarter. They did a great defensive job. Mia Davis did not score in the second quarter. And it would take some time, but if you go back through the quarter by quarter box scores, you can't find many of those where Davis has put up a goose egg. Averaging about 20 per game. Here's a held ball, and the arrow is with Wichita State. Baston, long two, and that's going to prompt a Temple time. It starts TV, 46-35. Wichita State stretches their lead to 11, prompting an early Temple timeout. Tanya Cardoza talking things over with her team. Coming out of the timeout, here's Davis and gets the soft roll. Her first points since the first quarter. And Temple back within single digits. Wichita State shooting nearly 50% for the game. They are at 49%. And that'll help. Corner three, Shia Smith. Neon, good luck underneath Williamson. Temple has given Wichita State fits inside. One thing that the Owls have not done a good job of is 
three-point shooting. How about this disparity? Temple, three for 12. Wichita State, nine for 18. You've got the most prolific three-point shooter in the conference in Marissa Mackins, and she has made just one three-point basket tonight. Here's a foul on Neon. And this will send Carla Brima to the line where she is quite good, 83% for the season. Sophomore is out of France. She was named to the American Athletic Conference all-freshman team last season, averaging just a shade under eight per game this year. Brima hits the first. Brima hits them both. Wichita State half court trap pays off. Brima gets the steal. And it was the hard work of Reed and Baston that set the trap and then on the other end, another three. Ashley Reed with her second this quarter, and Wichita State cannot miss right now. It's a 15-point Shockers lead. Mackins driving, throws one up and gets a good bounce off the back iron. Baston with the shot clock down to five. Trying to get something going. Prince is fouled by Williamson. Not a whole lot that Williamson could do there, but certainly a foul you don't want to give that deep in the shot clock. And now it will send Raven Prince to the free throw line. Prince a 63% shooter is good on the first. Prince hits them both. A bit of an interesting release. She's got a little bit of side spin on that ball as it goes up, but it works there. She hits two. Here's Jones breaking the press and then picking up a foul on Prince. That has been a big issue for Raven Prince tonight, and she's gonna pick up her third. And Prince will have to exit once again for Maya Brewer. Can't believe we are nearly halfway through this quarter, and this is the first we're seeing of Maya Brewer, who came alive for three three-pointers in the third quarter, in the second quarter, excuse me. Here she is in the third. Mackins. Fouled on the shot, and Marissa Mackins will go to the line for two. That's two now on Shia Smith. And the fouls are mounting against the Wichita State front court. That's two on Smith and three on Raven Prince. Asia Henderson, who has seen some time, only has one. Mackins hits both of her free throws. Baston kicks out. There was a three there. Reed passed it up. Here's Brewer. Gives off to Brima. Brima, tough angle on that shot. And Davis able to grab the rebound. It's Mackins. Kicks out to Alexander. Open for the baseline jumper and gets it to go. It's a two pointer.
Temple down 11. Cutting into what was a 15 point Wichita State lead. Smith, count the basket and the foul. Alexa Williamson rung up for the foul call and Smith gets the soft touch. That brings us to a break. 3.58 to go, third quarter. It's 58-45, Wichita, Wichita at the line for Shia Smith. We mentioned one of the big advantages for Temple, even as that second quarter didn't go well for them. Smith misses free throw. One of the big advantages for Temple was that rebounding margin. Temple was plus 12 in the first half, 22 to 12. Since then, Wichita State has a 6-1 rebounding advantage in the third quarter. Fasten out to Reed for three, no good. It's short and a whistle is gonna go against Wichita State going up for the rebound. That is on Shia Smith. That's a bad break for Wichita State, and she's gonna have to come off with three fouls. Raven Prince is on the bench with three fouls, and they're gonna turn once again to the redshirt sophomore, Asia Henderson. Henderson has got good size, she's 6'3", and did have two points in the first half, so she'll hold down the forward on the interior while Prince and Smith sit due to foul trouble. Jones. A leaner inside, it goes. Jones with 14 to lead all scorers. McCarty and off of Destiny Samuel. Samuel is seeing her first action as a Temple Owl. She's been here for now, a season and a half. Injured last year, able to uh, see time on the floor for the first time tonight out of Queens, New York. Baston gives it up to Henderson and Henderson lays it in for two. Jones is fouled on the drive. This will be the fourth team foul against Wichita State. That's the first of the game on Ashley Reed. But with 2.33 to go, Wichita State in a bit of team foul trouble. As Temple will have two free throws remaining the rest of the way. Temple trying to get it inside to Mia Davis and we've got her tightly bracketed. Jones throws one up, no good. Henderson can't grab the rebound. Davis gives it up to Jones, wide open three, it's good. Uh, the foul is gonna go against Mia Davis. It's a couple times we've seen that tonight. A foul fighting for the rebound, but the three-pointer stands. It's in the book for Jones. Jones having a heck of a quarter right now. She's got eight points in the third, 17 for the game. Temple back within 10. Henderson, nice soft touch for Henderson. And give her some credit. She's been the third option the interior for Wichita State, and she has played quite well. Temple throws it away. control on that take. Offensive rebound by Henderson and she's fouled on the way back up by Alexander. Foul's called on number two, Asana Alexander. 
Temple now over the limit in team fouls. Seem to say this uh, every time out. The games just have a way of being called much tighter after halftime. Henderson, a good roll on the first free throw. She is a 64% free throw shooter. Both teams have been excellent from the line tonight. Wichita State five of six, Temple eight for 10. And Henderson hits them both. Asia Henderson has been great. She's actually coming off of a season high last game with 11. Season and career high, so she's got it going right now for Wichita State. Offensive rebound, Temple. Mackins for three, it's good. Marissa Mackins. Keep Temple within shouting distance as we tick down toward the fourth quarter. It's an 11 point Wichita State lead. Down low to Henderson, the hot hand, and Henderson didn't get much on that shot, but got it to drop. 10 points now for Henderson, one off of her career high. Alexander, some contact inside. It's a charge. Take it off the board. The Temple's bench was on their feet thinking they had the big and one, and instead, and it takes away the basket for Alexander. Temple will press off the whistle. And Wichita State breaks the press. Haven't seen much of that from the Owls tonight, but the Shockers handle it effectively. We've got a 13 second differential between shot and game clock and Wichita State content to slow things down here with the 13 point lead on the road. The clock is frozen, nobody has noticed. Travel called. Clock was frozen for three or four seconds at 21.1, the shot clock's now turned off. Doesn't really have much of an effect here. It gives Temple a few more seconds on their possession, but they're just gonna wind it down and play for the last shot regardless, but a little bit odd. Mackins off a screen. Kicks out to Alexander from the corner. The three is good. Temple hits a badly needed three right before the six from McGonagall Hall. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. Temple had an early eight point lead. About midway through the second quarter, Wichita State used a big closing stretch in the second. take a big lead into halftime, open that up to as many as 15 in the third quarter, and now they have the ball up 10 here in the fourth. High scoring third quarter, 27 points for Wichita State, 24 for Temple, and another three from Ashley Reed. Just been a great shooting night for Wichita State, especially from three, and not a prolific three-point shooting team, but right now, they're at 52% from three. That would be their third best mark of the season if it holds. It's a foul on Ashley Reed that will send Ashley Jones to the line for two. Jones having another great game. She's got 17. A chance to add two more from the line. She's got one. And two. Temple gonna press off the made free throw, trying to make something happen here, down 11. Wichita State able to break that pressure and convert on the other end. DJ McCarty into double figures after going over the top of Mia Davis on that layup. Here's Alexander. Tough take inside, gets her own miss, and is fouled on the way back up by Brumaugh. Foul 
That's two quick fouls this quarter on Wichita State, less than a minute in. And Temple has been good tonight from the line. So it'll be a big help to the Owls if they've got something going for them. It's that there's still plenty of time to try to cut into this Wichita State lead. And obviously getting to do it from the free throw line, easy to do it without the clock moving. Alexander splits her two free throws. It's a 12 point game. To Wichita State's credit, they have not gotten conservative. They're going right for the throat. And DJ McCarty hits a three from the wing. 74-59. Davis out to Jones, wide open for three. Offensive rebound put back by Alexander. Good night for Alexander after a couple of games where she's been limited. Nine points, five rebounds, three assists. Quick catch and shoot three from McCarty, who's obviously feeling it. Long rebound out to Baston. So look to McCarty, just off the mark. Rebound to Samuel. Kick into the corner, Alexander for three, it's good. Asana Alexander hit the three-pointer from the other corner right at the third quarter break. Here she is bringing Temple back within 10. Al's getting to that stage in the game where it's likely going to take a run of some sort. Here's Baston blocked by Alexander. Up to Mackins. Jones, nobody picks her up. Easy lay-in for Ashley Jones. Timeout, Wichita State. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Cobb with you here on Al's TV. TV. Temple has gotten back within eight points, 74-66. Closest the Owls have been this quarter, prompting a Wichita State timeout. See how the Shockers respond here on the road. Give Wichita State a ton of credit coming out here. Out there leading scorer for the third straight game. I thought that was going to be a held ball called. Instead, it's a foul called on Bremaw for reaching in. It's a bad foul to give up. The third on Bremaw, which is less of an issue, but it's the third team foul on Wichita State. And there's still six and a half minutes left this quarter. The last thing that Wichita State wants to do is give Temple some free free throws down the stretch. Alexander can't get the soft roll and a battle for the rebound. It's gonna be last touch by Wichita State on its way out and stay with Temple. Shot clock resets to 20. The Owls will have the inbound. Davis gets it back out to Jones. Mackins. No good. Long rebound out to McCarty. McCarty stripped by Jones. Temple gets it back and wants to run. Mackins. Puts her head down, lucky she got away with a travel. And finally the rebound is ripped down by Prince. These teams not backing down from the pace at all and Baston is fouled by Jones. Foul Wichita State zero, got the chance to eat into this clock a bit. I recognize that the tempo is how they've played tonight and it's been effective, but at some point, you start to look at the clock and say, we can start taking this game down by 30-second chunks. This one pays off with two free throws for Baston, though she misses the first. Normally an excellent free throw shooter. She misses her first attempt of the night. Second is good. The Wichita
Wichita State lead is nine. Mackens from the free throw line. No good. And the rebound by Prince. And Mackens gives up a foul reaching in. That's her second. And the second on Temple this quarter. McCarty drives on Samuel. Too strong off the glass. Davis the rebound. Here's Jones. Jones banks it home. 23 points for Ashley Jones. One off of her career high. Just like that, a seven point game. Travel called against Wichita State. And the Shockers have gone into an offensive drought for the first time in a while. Here's Jones to Williamson. Quick turnaround, bad bounce off the back iron. Prince with the rebound for Wichita State. Maya Brewer had that unbelievable stretch in the second quarter, couldn't get that one to go. Jones overthrown on the pass. Temple has got to take care of the ball down the stretch. You just don't have that many possessions. And a three on the other end from Maya Brewer. Well, there you go. I said she had that great stretch in the second quarter. We haven't heard from her since. There she is, three-point basket, 10-point lead, and now a foul on the floor. This is against Ashley Reed. It's three on Reed. And Wichita State at the limit now. That's 14 fouls. So for the final 338, any defensive foul on Wichita State, two free throws for Temple. Jones, deep three, no good. Price had the rebound and then lost it. They call it a held ball. The ball was never held. I don't know that it was held by either team, let alone both. That's one of those where it looked as if it was on its way to being a jump ball. The whistle blew and you got to call something. So Wichita State, the beneficiary, is they have the possession arrow. The Temple will go full court press here. Uh, more token pressure as Wichita State will break it easily. Nobody picked up Brewer and she knocks down the uncontested three. A defensive lapse by Temple and that is devastating for the Owls. For the Owls. Season and she has made five tonight. Great night for Maya Brewer. The Temple takes a timeout. The Owls only have one left. 3.15 to go. Alexander up the floor. Good look down low to Mayo, and it's blocked out of bounds by Brewer. Mackins back in. Monty Mayo out. Davis. The intended target on that pass, it's stolen away. Have to give Wichita State an immense amount of credit on this. They have held Mia Davis, who averages 20 points per game, to just nine. She had seven in the first quarter, only two points since then. That, as much as anything else, has been a great offensive performance for sure, great three-point shooting for Wichita State. That, as much as anything else, has made the difference. 
And there you go, another three from Ashley Reed. She's got five three-pointers. She hadn't hit a three-pointer all season. The senior had only taken two. She's hit five tonight. Wichita State cannot miss here in McGonagall Hall. And that is wild. Ashley Reed, senior from Wichita Falls, Texas, averages 3.7 per game. She knocked down 15 points tonight, all on three-point shots. So here's Mackins at the line for two off of the foul on Baston. Mackins connects on both. Baston breaks the pressure and brings it up the floor, and now Wichita State can really just kill clock. They've got a 14-point lead inside of two minutes. It's kind of no man's land for Temple, and finally they commit a foul with 11 seconds left. If you're going to foul, foul with 30, and unfortunately for Temple, they have a foul to give. That's the third on Mackins. And just the third team foul against Temple this quarter. So actually they have two to give. They've got one more. So if Temple does want to get into a strategy of fouling and uh, try to slow this game down at the free throw line, they've got to commit to it quickly. And Mackins is not who you want out there right now because she's got three personal fouls. Baston. Goes around Mackins, drops it off inside. Travel before the shot. So the Owls get it back with a minute 46 to go. Wichita State will bring back DJ McCarty and Shia Smith. Jones flips to Mackins. Owls need to work quickly. Mackins is fouled and will go to the line for two. Mackins, already a great free throw shooter, has been perfect from the line tonight. That free throw is her fifth. And she's now six for six. Foul called on Ashley Jones, but again, eight seconds come off the clock. And the Owls just look a little bit caught in between the decision to play tight defense and commit the foul. Rest of the way out, we've got two free throws on every foul. Fast and holding. And the Owls may just play straight up the rest of the way down here by 12. Wichita State, again, trailed by eight early in the second quarter. They went on a big run to start the second quarter, a big run to end it. Here's a travel against Smith. And then they just shot the ball lights out. Right now, Wichita State is above 50% for the game and 56% from three. That will be their best three-point mark of the season, both in terms of percentage and three-pointers made. Williamson lays it in, but it's all academic at this point. Ten-point lead for Wichita State into the final minute. Jones gets the steal. Playing tough till the end here, and it'll be a blocking foul call that will send Jones to the line for two. It'll be 
not much consolation for Jones here in the loss, but she does have a chance at the line for a new career high. Currently, she's sitting on 23 points. Her career best mark is 24. That ties it. And Jones can't break it. Victory of the season. Shockers advance the ball in the timeout. They'll inbound into the backcourt. Shot clock down to 10, and McCarty is fouled by Davis. This will send her to the line for two. Foul From here, Temple has had a week off. Last time they competed was on Wednesday against UCF. They had the uh, bye weekend in conference play. They hit the road to take on nationally ranked USF. The Owls beat the Bulls by three here at home. USF is now up to number 25 in the nation. Uh, this is a signature win for Temple earlier this season, and they'll see if they can get the season sweep. That is Sunday at noon. And from here, Wichita State will return home to take on Memphis. Jones steps out of bounds as she tried to sprint through the half-court trap. Shot clock turned off. Wichita State just needs to get the ball inbounded. Temple going to foul. Down 10 with 22 seconds to go. Ashley Reed with a terrific performance tonight, though she can't add to it from the line on her first free throw. Five of seven three-point shooting for the senior who had not made a three-pointer all year. Second free throw dances around and won't go. Jones with a quick three, no good. And this will go back to Wichita State. So that will do it as the final few seconds run off the clock. Wichita State, 85-75 is your final tonight. The Shockers get a big road win in conference play. And you can see they are fired up about this one. First win in this building for Wichita State. Keith Adams.